teacher of fluid mechanics and hydraulics specialization and uh, having uh, this uh, teaching experience in Jadavpur University for about 20 years. So I belong to this specialization and uh, my area of work is electrohydraulic control systems, a little bit of robotics and so on. So that is not exactly the uh, purview right now to discuss, rather uh, we want to uh, discuss on the agenda. So uh, I just, I mean, before uh, your, uh, I mean, another co-teacher, I think Nirmal also he has joined. Uh, so before handing over to Nirmal, I just want to uh, give you the statistics of, of the uh, this registration process, whatever uh, you have submitted, because there there were two options actually. One regarding your uh, um, connectivity, and the other was uh, regarding the uh, your uh, your choice. I mean, uh, considering the pandemic situation but at the present moment, uh, your option regarding. Uh, conduction. So basically, uh, regarding this net connectivity, out of 110 responses, we are having 83 uh, students. They are, they uh, they actually are having 4G connectivity, and uh, 21 of them are having broadband out of 110. So. Uh, of these two, if you add, uh, it comes around uh, 90, more than, I mean, nearly 100%. Only three uh, students, they actually said uh, they don't have any connection. So, I actually, we would like to, uh, definitely we need to know uh, these students and how they are managing or, and uh, how they are going to manage this particular course because uh, Still now we have to live with this uh, virtual mode. Uh, uh, there are three students also, they said apart from uh, 4G or broadband, they're having other connections uh, that could be 3G or uh, that could be uh, some kind of uh, uh, data, which is less uh, uh, fast, uh, we can say. so. So we would like to uh, know from this two category of students, especially these three students. I mean, they, that could be through the respective CR also to say what, what is the situation of these three students who has uh, mentioned that they don't have any kind of connection. That is very important because otherwise, how we can able to communicate them and and what is because your second year you have gone through one year of this uh, virtual mode so how these three students manage uh, i don't know okay so if they are of course if they are not having connections uh, i believe they are not able to uh, participate in this meeting so that is the situation regarding the net connectivity regarding the uh, your opinion uh, that is in the present situation we are we asked you to uh, tell your opinion regarding the best way to have the class conduction and there we have the classroom teaching with physical presence this option actually uh, uh, came as uh, the maximum uh, number of students at, at the present moment they they are uh, looking for uh, classroom teaching with physical presence and I think here we are having multiple options selected because uh, the arithmetic sum is more than the number of responses. Uh, so 70 number of students actually they opted for uh, classroom teaching with uh, physical presence. Then the second choice actually, well, I mean I don't know whether it is second choice or first choice as uh, there was no such preference one or two but uh, as per the pie chart whatever i can see is 45 number of students out of 110 responses they have opted for online live classroom in google meet platform then uh, 
actually then uh, we have the uh, uh, about 19 students uh, uh, opted uh, for pre-recorded video lectures with video online live doubt clearing sessions and uh, and uh, five number of students they they opted for uh, pre-recorded live video lectures without clearing in WhatsApp group. So uh, there are no options. Uh, I mean, nobody actually uh, opted for none of the above. So uh, yes. Hello, Sauranjay Do you want to say something? Uh, yeah. Okay. No, no, sorry, sorry. I have to unmute. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. No problem. Uh, so, so, basically, uh, this is the uh, status. I mean, and uh, your Nirmal side is actually continuing with the fluid mechanics. He, has already taken fluid mechanics one. He was one of the co-teachers of fluid mechanics one. So you are uh, familiar with uh, animal sir. And uh, in, in our fluid mechanics two, I mean, uh, whatever form that we have followed in our previous semester, I mean, previous year, was the pre-recorded uh, video lecture uh, with some uh, occasional uh, out clearing as and when required basically when the requisitions came from the students through whatsapp or something other means uh, then we had some kind of uh, doubt clearing otherwise it was completely pre-recorded video lecture mode okay but uh, i mean as we i mean considering the situation which is very unfortunate we are passing through uh, we want to remain dynamic because uh, that is the reason why we again quoted this option for the students, uh, first batch of students, what they actually feel. And we we want to actually uh, take into cognizance what is uh, what are the opinion of the students right now. So, and along with that, actually, we also want to uh, I mean communicate to you that. Using this particular mode, uh, virtual mode, there are certain disadvantages. Uh, I mean, basically the interaction part of the direct face-to-face -face interaction, basically, those are not uh, possible. Uh, but there are certain advantage also. An advantage also, I mean, normal server will try to address those things. So, uh, in whatever mode uh, we go, always there are certain scopes that you will get and there are certain scopes that you will miss and uh, so we can try to uh, combine uh, the, the choices that we have give, uh, given to us and uh, maintain in that way so from my part i can say that uh, i can uh, i will remain available uh, in my uh, routine slot uh, weekly routine slot, whatever uh, I'm having, uh, Tuesday and uh, Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday I'm having two periods and Wednesday I'm having one period. So I will remain available that slot for uh, discussions uh, or any kind of uh, doubt clearing, whatever form. So, I mean, so uh, in Google Meet, uh, I will be there. So, and, and all students, I mean, not only for Section A, because as per routine, I am the nominated class teacher for uh, uh, Section A and involved service for Section B. But as we are, uh, I mean, uh, delivering it in a common mode in, in the previous year, uh, from previous year, actually, when uh, this pandemic started. Uh, in fact, I can say uh, to you that when we uh, used to have the class in the conventional uh, physical mode. Uh, then also, we uh, although we took the classes in, a, uh, in, 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 in separate rooms, but uh, we always uh, suggested uh, the students to uh, go through the other sections material. Okay, 
so that still remain uh, valid i mean so that uh, we can have a joint class work, uh, in which i can i mean as i said i don't have any uh, problem to but remain uh, available during that period of time so anybody is welcome to join in that class uh, irrespective of his or her uh, section okay so uh, and if, if you if you agree to uh, go for that then actually the other advantages uh, of this virtual mode can be explored uh, with the help of nimble sir so 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 he he will be taking care of those uh, other additional uh, modes uh, which will actually enrich the, uh, the overall uh, daily content delivery of the course and also uh, enrich your your uh, knowledge base uh, that actually we 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 hope in that way okay so it is not only the evaluation part that is a separate one that that actually that will be guided by as and when the uh, university decision uh, we get uh, so that will be guided by that but uh, uh, fluid mechanics as you know uh, it is a core one of the core subjects in mechanical engineering and uh, in our um, curriculum we are actually having uh, five uh, theoretical compulsory uh, courses out of which only one you have covered in terms of fluid mechanics one and then now it is a continuous kind of a course fluid mechanics two and then you will be having exposition in uh, machinery fluid machinery part we are also having two courses and uh, and then another one that is basically offered by our specialization in terms of electrolytic control systems so there are also some uh, hydraulic part is there apart from some interdisciplinary flavor so uh, i mean uh, so in in other than that uh, there are electives so i am not going into those details so as this fluid mechanics is very important subject for uh, mechanical engineer so you, and and you need to uh, have uh, the basics that is these two mechanics course one and two these are basically the foundation you can say Uh, for fluid uh, mechanics area so that is why you need to uh, concentrate you need to focus uh, on these two subjects based on which you can develop your skill if you are interested to uh, remain uh, in this particular area and for mechanical engineers in general you need to have a, a, a basic uh, knowledge of fluid mechanics because in whatever applications uh, you, you you look into uh, be it a domestic or industrial uh, always there are some interactions of uh, fluid with any kind of structure or any kind of design so 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 that part is there uh, so that is from my part i think uh, uh, my my view regarding the conduction uh, of the class we can think on that and of course you you also may have some kind of your opinion that you can also uh put forward in this meeting i think uh, uh, before that nimol sir already he, he is there i think i think uh nimol are you there yeah yeah yes, so uh, now actually i am handing over to uh, nimol or the nimol na to address on his behalf thank you very much okay professor sha uh, for your a uh, good introductory and covering almost uh, most of the uh, points uh, to start this uh, fluid mechanics 2 course and uh, in this connection i have prepared a, basically some major points already uh, um explained by professor sha in his own way i just uh, will add few and for that i am just presenting that uh, slides and we'll try to explain or uh, try to share my quickly uh, just a minute uh, so basically um, i hope uh, students have gone through this uh, material basically content delivery that is 
uh, one of the uh, starting point to build up the knowledge of this subject. And um, for that, but uh, from my last experience and after uh, discussing with uh, some friends from your side and also my uh, colleague professor, so basically the best mode that I feel or we feel is listed here as a four steps method. Basically, uh, that will be uh, very uh, useful from students' point of view because they are getting some uh, the lecture notes, the first steps, and after that, with a live session, just uh, about these notes, where what type of uh, uh, basically activity or concentration or what type of derivation that kind of basically key key things where you to concentrate on how you can grasp this uh, notes quickly that will be uh, just or will be outlined and after that a thorough lecture sessions that may be in multiple uh, video because depending upon the uh, topics uh, or chapters or the contents as mentioned in the syllabus so the one video may not be sufficient uh, and that you will feel when you will go through ideal fluid flow. So multiple sessions is required, and uh, and which we basically uh, feel during our even physical mode that uh, the uh, the semester time duration, which is around say uh, twelve weeks uh, like that, is insufficient or, or forty hours uh, slot very much insufficient, and almost we are moving hurriedly to describe all uh, topics and uh, most of the uh, basically uh, major points or uh, issues like very best to say momentum integral equations so or say uh, um, very crucial things of uh, compressible flow or boundary layer uh, there are uh, laminar so basically which are really difficult we have to devote most of the times there and it becomes very active to address the ent uh, delivery the entire syllabus uh, within the scheduled time. This is our experience from physical mode. And since we are getting this opportunity of uh, due to some misfortune, all of us, and uh, we have developed, we are not prepared for this kind of uh, situation, and we have no almost no knowledge of uh, delivering the material in this form, and we are day by day are learning so that we can uh, better deliver to you and for that uh, after a systematic thinking a almost a thorough note prepared by uh, hand and this is basically you uh, and the, uh, all credit goes to professor Shah. he takes the pen to develop this uh, note and uh, then uh, a thorough discussed son on that note is uh, recorded and we think or i think uh, basically from our last experience uh, from the students point of sides that uh, they were very much happy with that part and uh, in that time very uh, a few just a few sessions are uh, conducted for uh, this uh, clearing their doubts and this time Based on your feedback from one and some uh, survey already discussed by Professor Shah, so we have planned an introductory GMIT session uh, on the uh, uh, PDF note. Then the full lecture session will be provided to you. After that, if you're going through all these things, Still, you have some doubt. You are uh, feeling uh, some points uh, difficult to grasp. We will uh, decided to uh, take another live sessions based on your requirement. So, I think it will be a very great idea uh, from my opinion or from my side, and uh, you will obviously share your view. Um, and uh, this is the first point. And second point already, Professor Shah is mentioned. 
there are basically four slot if you consider this uh, two section two teachers no one hour slot and other two hour slots so uh, obviously sir will be there uh, already mentioned and i will be there but uh, some uh, for some situation maybe due to some unavoidable circumstances some class may be class may be uh, uh, shifted before the time schedule or after the time schedule as mentioned if you agree with you and if it is compatible to you then we can if required some uh, class beyond the schedule hours uh, of course i will try to attend most of the uh, class during that session but uh, some may be taken and if uh, and in the morning it will be good if you uh, digitally if you good if you start the class uh, say from 9 uh, that then in the morning net connectivity will be good and uh, uh, it will be very easy for delivering uh, from my side but uh, that is not a regular one but if you want that can be uh, settled down afterwards after uh, getting your views and uh, here again i will welcome all the students to join my uh, uh, session whatever the mode uh, you selected whether section was your uh, full class that depends upon you that depends upon your choice that is no problem to us as the professor shahid mentioned so during that schedule only the allotted students may join or may other students may join that depends upon uh, them and i am just shifting some hours here as i mentioned that extended time schedule because i expect uh, all the students uh, those who can should be present in every interaction session it is my expectation and that's why some time shifting because basically some staggering if you concentrate uh, if you choose a full class then uh, definitely for some students may be problem but it is will not be problem if you just uh, do some rework with the other subjects and uh, the other teachers then the readjustment can be done because we are all doing in uh, virtual mode so routine which is given that is basically um, run, that is not the um, that may be adjusted i think if you try to work it out and um, mm, taking advantage of digital mode is uh, should be uh, thing from students point of view because if you just limit your uh, um, study say as i guess uh, some of you are interested with this like a physical mode say a class a meeting will be started and then at that time some lectures note will be presented and discussion will be given like physical class in the physical class we go to the classroom and using a, a chalk and board we start to deliver the topics like that the material will be presented to you and will be discussion and uh, once the time is over then it will be stopped and again it will be continue so in this way and if you have many queries it is expected because you are just seeing the notes the first time so if i move say one or two lines of the slides then many of you will have so many questions and if you try to or if we all try to attend every question in that way then it will be not possible to end the uh, or to complete the subject uh, within the schedule or semester uh, period so that is the uh, difficulty in physical mode like uh, live class of google meet in that case some major topics will be attended and some major uh, issues will be attended and many uh, topics will be uh, given to you to prepare by yourself and some also will be given to you as a home assignment and um, apart from this uh, some flavor of digital mode i have uh, already demonstrated when we taught i means i and my uh, other professor sripsh uh, sarkar taught the uh, fluid mechanics one course so so many uh, forms are given to you to develop side to 
uh, concentrate uh, to the particular topics and what type of question you can expect, where you should uh, give some more importance. And uh, then some uh, which form of assignments or uh, uh, assessment is made, but the questions are formulated uh, consulting many of the uh, um, leading material. Basically, you may find during your uh, um, later stage, say in third year or fourth year, if you when you will uh, attend the gate like or similar types of exam. So some flavor of that competitive exams I have tried. And that was not the basically goal of this uh, uh, subject from university or from different point of view, because here subject syllabus all are formulated to uh, formulate your some um, to basically in instill some basic knowledge with you to make seats so that you be capable to uh, understand physical problems and can solve that problem. That was the basically the that way syllabus is uh, formulated. It is not uh, formulated to address gate or other competitive exam. And there is no need of uh, teaching the subject in that way. But that I feel, and also I, I think Professor Shah also will agree with me that uh, if uh, in, the, uh, in the last few years, the gate score from our department is not uh, up to the mark. So, uh, and if you go through the uh, gate score, or sorry, gate syllabus, and if you see the fluid mechanics and thermal uh, um, part, of a system, then almost entire syllabus that we cover, fluid mechanics one, and that is also may not be sufficient. There are also some extra topics. So basically, entire syllabus that we basically presenting to you in the form of fluid mechanics one and two, all are very much uh, relevant for gate or other uh, competitive exam. It may be IES or, or any others. So for that point of view. I am repeatedly urging, uh, appealing or uh, try to face to you that you prepare this subject uh, in in, the, in depth and uh, just uh, make a mind so that you can attend competitive exams. So basically, um, if say physical mode like class that already uh, uh, I present uh, mentioned here that wanted so if i concentrate on that then obviously some uh, supplementary activity uh, should be sacrificed otherwise it, it will not be possible to conduct both due to shortage of time and uh, uh, preparing additional material is a hectic job and you may join also to form that uh, material but uh, still now i have not uh, getting any such activity from students of view because during fluid mechanics one, I have uh, proposed many models, fluid mechanics project like that, but uh, somehow oh, may not be practical from your uh, time or your age. But you can think uh, to grow in that direction also. And many others point I am just omitting now because it is already very clear that uh, what what I we want uh, to mean the clearing. What do you want to mean problem solving? If you go through all these materials, written materials, it is very simple to understand. So there is no need to uh, explain more about this, uh, the problem solving, attendance, assessment, all these things. And during this live courses and this time, some continuous assessment may be uh, uh, implemented because uh, uh, final assessment will be based on the university uh, rules and regulations at uh, the time of the exam. But if there is some internal assessment part, so that assessment will be based on the teacher's uh, um, interaction with the students in any, any way. It may be in quiz form, it may be direct uh, interaction in the uh, uh, classroom. So that will be implemented this time with live sessions. And uh, so already I have covered. So basically, again, I request you if it, it if it is possible to you, then you will 
take this fluid mechanics uh, knowledge, knowledge building in the form of project because you have 114 students in this class and many of you are very talented and very active and very much sound with digital uh, uh, facility. So with their guidance and if many of students be active, already uh, demonstrated um, Google Forms and many other uh, things in the last uh, course that you can uh, develop yourself and if you are set to uh, uh, add ourselves in that activity then I will be happy to be joined there and to uh, supervise or to mentor your uh, this kind of activities, a quiz formulation and uh, any other problem solving, uh, some material preparation or a good uh, FM note preparation. And also you can uh, formulate some intelligent questions or creative questions or challenging questions on the subjects to be delivered. Suppose in the uh, in this uh, rainy season, say during uh, rain, water is collected on the roof. So now how this uh, water will be drained uh, or when this water is draining from the roof or through the uh, um, drain pipes. So what kind of fluid mechanics or what kind of uh, basically um, um, principle, conservation principle or equations to be applied? What type of model to be utilized to solve this kind of uh, uh, problem? So when water is flowing like a seed on the surface of the roof or when it is passing through the drain pipe. So yeah. again, you can take another example, say in the washroom, if you open the say uh, your valve, then water is uh, falling down or the bucket. So what kind of fluid mechanics will be involved when it is just coming out and going in the air till it is reaching to the bucket? So what type of uh, fluid mechanics knowledge or model to be implement to solve whether it is laminar flow or turbulent flow so that kind of that direction should be uh, uh, you should do, try to think to develop a good uh, understanding particularly for solving physical problems when you will be in the industry or in academics uh, during your um, service life and again, I will uh, suggest you to go through extended study, uh, read uh, uh, different uh, uh, resource, reach resource available in the um, websites. And make a long term goal on this subject because fluid mechanics is within our body. So biomechanics, medical uh, devices, everywhere if you go, fluid is connected, uh, say, power generation, whether it is hydral, whether it is using steam uh, turbine or gas turbines. So without fluid, uh, this kind of activity cannot be uh, think of. So that's why fluid you will see everywhere if you try to just uh, feel it, to see it, and it is uh, having some, just a few conservation principles, but these principles are when utilized in the different circumstances, all things becomes totally changed. So um, subject to be nurtured in a proper way to um, develop insight on this. And that can be achieved if you or just uh, reading textbook is not sufficient, alert some activity using uh, some uh, softwares already I mentioned in the last time, last session. And these are very much uh, um, important, particularly for mechanical engineers. So be familiar with, be expert uh, with all many of this uh, 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 software package. And um, the model study you should formulate because resource is given to you, and this if you go through the resource just you seeing by listening or listening that is not sufficient because that is like uh, seeing a movie so basically taking 
take pen, paper, and prepare a note utilizing the resource around you. So that will be basically a notebook. And for this construction of this uh, master's notebook, many of students can work together like a team work. Basically, uh, you have to work with many other colleagues. So basically, teamwork is required. So basically, in this subject, lastly, I uh, try to mention that what you will, um, what we will deliver to you. That is basically, <clears throat> we will define some new terminology and will state some laws already stated, and many clauses will be stated. And be using this laws, some derivation, that is the governing equations or equations will be formulated, and define state there derived after that you can formulate a problem or you can solve a problem that is the basically motto or the basically philosophy of thing of this subject and with this attitude if you learn this subject and it is expected that you will be a good student good engineer good academician researcher and citizen uh, and that is very much needed and we all feel that we should be uh, the um, basically we will enrich uh, our quality in our society also so this is the most of the points i want to uh, share uh, in this context so i have no more points uh, at this point and if uh, professor want to say one or two things uh, on this my uh, delivery that then uh, uh, I welcome Professor Shah to say, otherwise students can um, say their points. Okay, thank you, uh, Nirmal. I think uh, uh, we have covered a lot uh, about uh, the, the viewpoint regarding this course. I mean, and we are running short of time because we have to uh, finish the meeting by 8.30. After that, I am having a meeting. Uh, so, if this, let us now have the views of the students if they are having any kind of opinion uh, regarding the, the, the deliberation that we uh, both of us made uh, to you in this meeting. Already, you have some kind of options that you have given, but uh, in the meeting, already we, we uh, spoke about uh, the conduction. So, what is your opinion? I think. Uh, maybe uh, four or five opinion uh, from your side should uh, come to us so that we can have a uh, conclusion for this meeting, and then we go forward with the with the plan uh, in a consensus manner. Okay. So, what is uh, uh, your opinion? Sir. Yeah. Please, your name, please. Satyam Kumar, sir. Satyam Kumar, okay. Yes. Please. Sir, in the last lecture, everyone was very confused regarding the syllabus order and uh, from the sources where to study. And uh, the topics of uh, FM2, I think uh, I... No, actually, I, Satyam, Satyam uh, first of all, yes, let, me, let, me, let me clarify. This is not a feedback of the previous course. What actually your... Uh, opinion regarding the conduction of the class, I think that yes, is sir, actually, it's, uh, yeah. it, it, actually, every uh, every student want a live class, sir, because uh, because they are very confused in the last semester. They were very confused in the last semester. And sir, so basically the uh, GMIT live class is basically I I think like uh, Nirmal sir has mentioned that is uh, pretty much a uh, 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 something uh, like. Uh, on online, I mean that live physical class actually. Rather than uh, we are we are preferring uh, that uh, live GMIT class uh, in in full class mode uh, possibly, and it, it will be a uh, very good thing if we if we are uh, get the if, if we get the chance to learn from both of you. That will be uh, excellent thing also. And obviously that I mean that GMIT part will be uh, very much. Uh, I mean, comfortable for us because we are doing so uh, for like last uh, from last one year, and that seems a uh, bit uh, that seems better for us actually. We have we have collected okay, the opinions okay. from the students. Yeah, and your point, is, your point is very clear. Okay. Anybody else? Thank you, sir. Uh, 
Thank you, Bishar. Any anybody else wants to say something? Bishar is just here. So basically, I think is presenting a view of uh, and of share of section B, one of the share of section okay, okay, okay. So yes, yes, are yes, are is also the share of, of section A. And I am so the share of section A. Okay, okay, okay. So on behalf okay. of we take this as the as the representation uh, from both the sections, or I mean, others can also uh, speak if, if they want, or else uh, we can conclude this meeting and and accordingly from next week we will uh, start our uh, formal uh, mode of uh, class Last teaching. Class. Okay. So basically, uh, then uh, the basically section mode of class will be conducted. As I uh, realize, Vishal, can you confirm whether you are oh, you are wanting um, section wise class? Am I uh, right? Actu uh, not actually, uh, section wise. Uh, if it is possible, then full class in uh, I mean in G meet mode. Yes, sir, full class. Yes, sir. If we get the regular basis classes, it will be more helpful to us, sir. Because in the last semester, we have faced many problems, and no, we are not able to uh, not able to uh, yeah, uh, contact with you, sir. Because uh, because you are too busy, and uh, you, you cannot uh, give us our, uh, no. give us problems. Please, please do not. Uh, I mean, as I said, that we need to focus on today's yeah. regarding yeah. the conduct yeah. means you basically have, what uh, orono wants to say that uh, if we conduct the classes in uh, gmit mode uh, uh, yeah. as uh, along with that uh, learning we can also i mean present our doubts that in this are our doubts no that's taken i mean that is that is already from your from your responses that we receive as i presented at the very beginning it is very much clear that what is your 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 uh, i mean desire to have this class to be conducted, that's taken. But uh, now the one one thing is that, as uh, Nirmal sir mentioned, uh, and also I I have said that I will be there uh, every week uh, in the in the in the prescribed slots. And what is your take, as Nirmal sir uh, mentioned also? Uh, I mean, what is your take on whether you want to have a joint class that that live class that you want? That will be taken care of by myself, where, uh, uh, whereas Nirmal sir will be looking into the other aspects of this uh, course, as he, he has said in his presentation. Do you want that mode or uh, do you want uh, section-wise typical live classes? Section A, I will be uh, teaching. Section B, Nirmal sir will be delivering. Uh, so the first one is preference one. The second one is another option. There are two options now uh, evolved. Okay, so what is your take? I mean, both the sections here. Uh, what is your opinion on this, sir? Joint class. Joint class, sir. Joint class. Okay, Nirmal, what do you say, sir? Typical live classes like section wise would have been better. Uh, Sayok. Okay. So okay. Yeah, so I, also, yeah. I also feel yeah. so. Uh, typical life, uh, typical section yeah. wise life class is better, sir. I, I think. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Just a minute. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't know. We, or this one, just listen me. Listen me. Have you gone through the course would be better. This method? Already I have mentioned that there will be one starting GMIT session and other will be closing GMIT session. So two sessions you are getting for each material. Just like not the earlier year that uh, material and then later stage that uh, some sorts of the class that way we will not be delivered in these times you will get the material every weeks and followed by some interactive sessions and then a thorough lectures so that you can go thoroughly go uh, deep into the material which will not be possible as i mentioned that volume or bulkiness of this subject if I try to explain one by one, so already say one hour is left, uh, already uh, is uh, uh, going to be finished. But how much I can uh, uh, um, deliver from my point of view, just presenting. So if I take say any chapter, so basically two, three chapters uh, uh, heading can be addressed or in some situation or a particular heading we have to devote a lot of times because we have no facility of working basically like uh, say 
so derivation like that so every point we have to uh, concentrate on the basically presentation so presentation means everything is work out so that we can point out we can explain and of course with uh, uh, when you are satisfied then we can move to other point so that is that point is taken care by this uh, starting introductory sessions material will be given so it is expected that you will go through the material basically that is basically scanning part then some deliberation will be uh, given on the individual topics of the material and which will be basically uh, uh, directed to listen the thorough lecture that is the recording part and after that again we will be in the physical mode for that same chapter you not enter subjects which is presented here i have uh, forget to mention here it is will be for connection for all ppd basically some um, initial derivation uh, initial uh, description that you are uh, mentioning like physical mode of class that will be present there so that is of course so i i'm not sure the way that you can get the points you can understand what i am trying to say with this four steps method what you are actually what you are that is will be presented by in this form that i am telling and if you are not satisfied then that uh, pre-recorded uh, part can be uh, dropped just uh, live session will be continue and every day some de relevance will be given and if you have some doubts that will be clear in that way, how much we can progress, that we will try. Or you can try with this mode. I think that will be better for you, is my opinion or my size. So now it is up to you. That I want to say that one chapter already delivered to you, PPT and uploaded uh, lectures. Now in the next class, the PPT will be taken and some uh, lecture means uh, what what that will be explained and uh, that session will be started that is the upcoming uh, lecture on the the first topic that is viscous flow chapters and you are requested to go through the material uh, pvt as well as the uh, recorded part so that you can identify the which are difficult to grasp Okay, okay. I think uh, what we can do, I mean, uh, we can uh, start uh, the class uh, section-wise, uh, but uh, there is no such, I mean, uh, door-closing kind of a thing uh, that uh, other section student cannot entry. Uh, I mean, the Google Meet, uh, this uh, Google Meet address, I think it is open. Uh, so let us see Nirmal uh, for first one or two topics how it is rolling okay and uh, keep the i mean keep this as a dynamic yeah we will i think it will evolve uh, after say uh, two three weeks covering one or two topics that uh, what what could be uh, the mode that we maintain i think uh, that is the one uh, possible options left with us as we uh, i think all all the students of uh, mechanical second year a section and b section uh, both i think will be one point i want to looking into that i mean uh, that is the only option i think i left with yeah uh, uh, professor Sajid, one point uh, vishal and uh, uh, many others are uh, telling that joint class and for that uh, um, your slots are so if they are able yeah. to that we can sort out i mean uh, i mean from the routine yeah, that i'm having that and from your so if routine they out for if, then if you want to have a joint class that we can i can i can uh, try to um, uh, fix a slot but i i would prefer to remain within the university time slot okay uh, because uh, to, at the evening uh, i am having some kind of project with the students uh, so so other activities and also i i actually prefer to remain within the working hour so taking into the the, 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 the both the routines and my routine 
uh, that we can sort out i mean uh, not in this meeting i think uh, if you uh, want to have a joint class more uh, let uh, myself and the uh, seers all the seers uh, can have a um, meet uh, just to just to have a uh, common slot uh, if we if we or can, can or can post or, or can post their uh, this information on whatsapp group that also no, be that don't, that we, don't, we can have a we can have a separate meet i mean even uh, that is that is your choice uh, if you want we can have a small that is just to look into the three routines and 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 get a common slot from from the opinion of the seers i think uh, so that's why i think it would be easier if a uh, separate section wise classes would have been taken so you yes, decide sir, uh, we can we can discuss that on a like? huh, huh. yeah we can discuss it in a meeting if yes, it is possible if, if it is possible as see as all our all our um, our students so we, okay don't try to discriminate between section a and section b okay so as uh, if it is possible we can have a common slot if it is not possible then of course section wise uh, is the only option left will be left okay so let us have a uh, common meet between section a cr and section b cr so all the cr i would request you to present uh, within this week i mean within this uh, two three days we can finalize on that we can fix it up okay uh, like, let us see yes yes right okay sir sure okay i think in all uh, we can conclude this meeting right with this uh, yes yes, yes. Uh, in our mind that uh, one message, let us remain yeah. open and and try to and try to follow uh, and and i think it would be better for both the both the sections okay and the entire student community whatever but i mean as i started at the beginning uh, uh, we are we are much uh, we are very concerned about those three students who have said that they don't have any connections please let us know uh, who are those students and what are their uh, problem i mean uh, that is a request to both the both the sections i don't know which section they belong to okay so with this i think nirmal we can conclude this meeting and and let 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 me go through uh, with the with the two cs uh, two section cs uh, six number of students i think and yes, i will let you i will let you know in the in the common whatsapp group that what is the outcome of that is it okay with everybody hello yes sir yeah yes sir yes sir. yes sir. so 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 okay so thank you sir i am even um, comfortable with the pre recorded yeah. sessions yeah. like it has been doing right now i'm no, comfortable that, with that all. that's all right that's all right no problem but uh, as the majority of the students are uh, looking for live online class so uh, we we need, we we should uh, acknowledge that okay so okay, no okay. Okay. okay we are trying yeah. both the both the we are trying to deliver both the uh, form actually the, i mean the the innovative form as well as the conventional form that is why i want to uh, sit with the cs that it, whether there is any kind of possibility to have a common slot where a joint class can be taken if it is not then fair enough whatever uh, options we are having we will do in that way okay so that is the thing Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So thank you, okay, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Sir. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so uh, Sayok, I will uh, communicate with because his phone number is with me. Sayok, uh, we, uh, you just talk with your uh, other seers, and I will talk with you to fix the okay, sir. date and time. Okay, within this week, right? Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. So I am disconnecting the call, right? Okay. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. You can do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.